Are you ready to embark on a journey to the very edges of our solar system? Join us as we venture into the mysterious realm of the Oort Cloud, where icy objects and dwarf planets like Sedna lurk in the darkness. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating story of Sedna, a distant world that defies our understanding of the outer solar system. From its strange orbit to its icy composition, Sedna is a puzzle that has confounded astronomers since its discovery in 2003. So buckle up and get ready to blast off on an adventure to uncover the secrets of Sedna and discover the mysteries of the icy frontier that lies beyond the orbit of Neptune. Sedna, minor planet designation 90,377 Sedna, is a dwarf planet in the outermost reaches of the solar system discovered in 2003. Spectroscopy has revealed that Sedna's surface composition is largely a mixture of water, methane, and nitrogen ices with tholins, similar to those of some other trans-Neptunian objects. Its surface is one of the reddest among solar system objects. Sedna, within estimated uncertainties, is tied with Ceres as the largest planetoid not known to have a moon. It has a diameter of approximately 1,000 kilometers, most likely between the sizes of the asteroid Ceres and Saturn's moon Tethys, with an unknown mass. Largest Orbit Sedna's orbit is one of the largest in the solar system other than those of long-period comets, with its affilion farthest distance from the Sun, estimated at 937 astronomical units. Au 6. This is 31 times Neptune's distance from the Sun and well beyond the closest portion of the heliopause, which defines the outer boundary of interplanetary space. As of 2022, Sedna is near perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, at a distance of 84 AU, 12.6 tam, almost three times farther than Neptune. The dwarf planets Eris and Gong Gong are presently further from the Sun than Sedna. An exploratory flyby mission to Sedna at perihelion could be completed in 24.5 years using a Jupiter gravity assist. Sedna has an exceptionally elongated orbit and takes approximately 11,400 years to return to its closest approach to the Sun at a distant 76 AU. The IAU initially considered Sedna a member of the scattered disk a group of objects sent into highly elongated orbits by the gravitational influence of Neptune. However, several astronomers contested this classification because its perihelion is too large for it to have been scattered by any of the known planets. This has led some astronomers to informally refer to it as the first known member of the inner Oort cloud. It is the prototype of a new orbital class of an object, the Sednoids, which include 2012 BP-113 and the Lake Anua. Discovery Sedna, provisionally designated 2003 VB-12, was discovered by Michael Brown, Caltech, Chad Trujillo, Gemini Observatory, and David Rabinowitz, Yale University, on 14 November 2003. The discovery formed part of a survey begun in 2001 with the Samuel Austin Telescope at Palomar Observatory near San Diego, California, using Yale's 160-megapixel Palomar Quest camera. On that day, an object was observed to move by 4.6 arcseconds over 3.1 hours relative to stars, which indicated that its distance was about 100 AU. Follow-up observations were made in November-December 2003 with the SMARTS, small and medium research telescope system. At Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile, the Tanagra IV Telescope in Nogales, Arizona, and the Keck Observatory on Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Orbit and Rotation Sedna has the second longest orbital period of any known object in the solar system of comparable size or larger, after the Lekahanua, calculated at around 11,400 years. Its orbit is extremely eccentric, with an aphelion estimated at 937 AU and a perihelion at about 76 AU. 
this perihelion was the largest for any known solar system object until the discovery of 2012 VP113. At its aphelion, Sedna orbits the Sun at a mere 1.3% of Earth's orbital speed. Based on its color, Trujillo, and his team suspect Sedna may be coated with tholin or hydrocarbons formed from solar irradiation of simpler compounds like ethane or methane. The uniform color could indicate Sedna doesn't get bombarded with meteors very often. Spectral analysis indicates the presence of methane, water, and nitrogen ice. The presence of water could mean Sedna had a thin atmosphere. Trujillo's model of the surface composition suggests Sedna is coated with 33% methane, 26% methanol, 24% tholins, 10% nitrogen, and 7% amorphous carbon. Surface. Sedna is a small, icy world located in the Oort cloud, a vast region of the outer solar system that is home to countless icy bodies. Despite its distance from the sun, Sedna has a relatively warm surface temperature of around minus 240 degrees Celsius, minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is likely due to its internal heat and the effects of tidal forces. The surface of Sedna is believed to be composed mainly of water ice, with some additional ice such as methane and nitrogen. Its surface is also covered in a layer of reddish material, which is thought to be the result of chemical reactions caused by the sun's radiation. Sedna's surface is relatively smooth and featureless, with few impact craters or other distinguishing features. Its lack of craters suggests that it may have resurfaced by creovolcanic activity although more research is needed to confirm this. Despite its relatively unremarkable surface, Sedna remains a fascinating object for study, as it provides insights into the distant reaches of our solar system and the forces that shape them. Diameter. Sedna is a dwarf planet located in the outer reaches of the solar system, beyond the Kuiper Belt and in the region known as the Oort Cloud. It is a small, icy world with a diameter of approximately 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles, making it one of the smaller dwarf planets in the solar system. Sedna's small size is likely due to its distant location from the Sun, which means that it receives very little heat and energy from our star. Despite its small size, Sedna is a fascinating object for study, as it is believed to be a remnant from the early days of the solar system and may offer insights into the formation and evolution of our cosmic neighborhood. With ongoing research and exploration of the outer solar system, we may one day unlock the secrets of Sedna and the other enigmatic objects that lurk in the far reaches of our cosmic backyard. In conclusion, Sedna is a mysterious and fascinating object that has provided a window into the distant reaches of our solar system and beyond. Its discovery, along with that of other trans-Neptunian objects like Orcus and Eris, has forced us to rethink our understanding of the outer solar system and the forces that shaped it. As we continue to explore and study the Oort cloud and the many other wonders of our cosmic neighborhood, we are reminded of the endless possibilities that exist in the vast expanse of space. If you found this video informative, make sure to hit the like button share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this.